When you use the Saber plugin, you can just apply it to text layers and layer masks. But imagine you could use any footage, any source. In my You Don't Need the Saber plugin tutorial, I recreated the plugin with standard effects. And with a shape layer I applied my technique to, you got more options than the original Saber plugin can even offer. In this follow-up tutorial, I'm gonna show you that with my approach, the possibilities are next to unlimited. Whether it's 3D rendering, particles, or live action footage, just drop them into the composition and you'll see the result instantly. If you haven't watched my original tutorial yet, please click on this link because the following steps are based on it. It's really worth watching. Now, let's jump right into After Effects. Okay, this is the status where my initial tutorial ended. It's based on the core preset of the original Saber plugin. Before we can use the footage, we have to do some minor adjustments first. When I make the shape layer visible, you can see that the result and the original path don't match. To make them congruent, I'm gonna select the solid layer and uncheck the stretch second layer box in every calculations effect I find in the effect controls panel. And there are three of them. Okay, now they match. Next, I'm gonna create a new composition and name it footage. Let's leave it empty for now and go back to the main composition. I'm gonna drag and drop the footage composition below the other layers and switch it off. Then I'm gonna select the shape layer, copy all its effects and paste them into the footage composition layer. Then I'm gonna select the solid layer and change the second layer source of the calculations effect to the footage composition. Same for the other calculations effects. The screen goes black. That's because the footage composition is still empty. So I'm gonna open the footage composition and put inside a line art sequence that I rendered in Cinema 4D before. Generally, line art footage is very suitable to get a good result. Because the footage isn't transparent yet, I'm gonna look for the Unmult preset in the Effects and Presets panel and drag it onto the footage. Now the black background is keyed out. Let's see what happens in the main composition looks interesting. Of course, you can tweak the exposure if the effect is too strong for you. But let's try another footage instead. In the footage composition, I'm gonna switch off the footage layer, create a new solid and apply the trap code particular effect. If you don't have this plugin, please keep watching. It'll produce a nice result worth seeing it. And it's another demonstration that you can use any source footage. I'm gonna click on the designer button, go to presets and select, let's say, the blue Icosas preset. Hit apply and it looks like that. How does it look like in the main composition? Well, reminds of glowing paper ash flying around. Let's try another preset. What about explosion trail with gravity? Looks like this in its pure state. And when we play it back in the main composition, it looks a bit like a firework explosion. What I like about it are these secondary electric streaks. Reminds me of The Flash. Should make an extra tutorial about it. The cool thing about my method is that you're not limited to graphics. You can also use live action footage. Here's a happy person dancing on a green screen. And this is another tip. Try to use isolated people or isolated objects. By the way, I also used this footage in my distribution tutorial. Please watch it, it's very useful. I'm gonna apply a key light effect to it, key out the green screen and apply a find edges effect to it. I'm gonna check invert and that's what we need. A live action footage converted into a line art footage. Now let's watch the result. Reminds of the Human Torch. Should also make a separate tutorial about it. As some of you already know, I'm into superheroes. Speaking of superheroes, I took the final rendered Wonder Woman logo animation that I recreated in one of my recent tutorials and dropped it into the footage composition. This works without using the Find Edges effect because the background is almost black and the outlines are quite distinct. 
But even if you don't have ideal conditions, the find edges effect works almost for anything. One final tip, you can switch off every tritone effect and the original colors will be adopted. Using multiple colors is another big advantage over the Sabre plugin. So that's it guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If so, please like my video, subscribe my channel and turn on the bell to get notified of more tutorials. See you next time.